If you're a user of video clips in your presentations, if you drag down videos into the slide list, as I'm doing here, there's a potential visual issue that we can miss. It's particularly prevalent if we use the fade transition. Now let me show you with a full screen preview of exactly what I'm talking about using these three video clips. Keep your eye on the moving waves in this area here because when the next video starts, see how this video stopped abruptly? We can do the same with this. Keep your eye on one section of the video. See it stop before the next one actually fades onto the screen. To see what's causing this particular problem, I have brought you into the timeline. Now we can see the first video clip here. When that comes to an end, it stops at this point here. In other words, it runs out of video movement. But of course, we can still see what's left on screen between this point and this point, which is the two second length of our fade. We get exactly the same with the third video clip here, which again, video two stops here, but we still view it until it gets here. So the solution to this problem is that we need to move this second clip back along the timeline two seconds. So this video is still running until it reaches the end of the transition of the next clip. And then we need to do the same with the next and the next and the next, assuming we had a number of them. Perhaps there's a quicker way to do this. Let's go back into the slide list. So if we're going to use quite a bit of video into our slideshow, maybe we should think about going to the settings, the preferences. In the project section, I'm going to tick the box to show full slide duration and tick the box to keep full slide duration. Now let's take a look at the difference because I'm going to do exactly the same as I did a few moments ago. I'm going to make a full screen preview of what I've just done here. Let's take a look. Now if we keep watch on the same places as before, you'll see we've got a perfectly smooth transition with each of the videos still running right the way through to the next. Much, much sweeter on the eye. Now when we come back to the timeline and we look at the same three video clips, we are confident that this first video here is still running until it reaches this point here. And the second video is still running until it reaches this point here. Now these are small points, but video that stops harshly is not a good look. So what is full slide duration? To answer that, I brought you into the objects and animation screen. Because the full slide duration is from this point here, and we can see this gray bar signifies a two second fade onto the screen. So from the very moment we start to see this video or a still image, if it was a still image, right up to this point here, now this point is when the next image has removed this one, or this video in this case, completely from the screen. Now I've used PTE AV Studio and Pictures to XE before that for many years and the keep full slide duration is a preference I always set. Surprise, surprise, I've actually made a video in under five minutes. Now if you've got any ideas for future videos, please drop me an email from the contact page on my website. No promises, but if the idea is within my skill set, I'll give it a go. Until then, I'll see you next time.